Your 20s is the best time to prepare for the future. What you do now will have a significant impact on your future. It is the time you have the most energy. You should utilize it well in pursuing your dreams. A common dream is to become wealthy. In order to accomplish this dream, you need to make some choices. They can be tough and demanding, but then, which good thing comes easy? In today's video, I am going to share with you 9 money choices you should make in your 20s that can make you rich. 1. Start a savings today It may sound ridiculous to many to start with as little as $1 to save. In reality, many have waited to make big money to start saving and ended up not saving at all. The fundamental principle behind saving is consistency. The amount is not really relevant. If you are consistent, you can then gradually start getting financial targets for yourself. Once you start doing that, the amount will naturally also increase. Saving is a big step towards financial freedom. A person who saves tends to be more thrifty with their finances. They also cultivate discipline around money. People who have savings tend to keep money better. They are also patient. If you start early, you have a head start. If you begin later, however, you may end up regretting not starting earlier. 2. Living below your means This is equally as important as having savings. You can have $1 million in your account, but if you spend $10,000 daily, you would deplete it in 100 days. You may find this shocking, but some people who inherited fortunes actually behave this way. When you build wealth, you learn a lot of things. You learn to manage your finances and work irrespective of how much you have. People who are wealthy understand that wealth requires maintenance. You have taxes and consultation fee to pay experts who help you manage your empire. They cut down on their expenses and only sludge when they win big in the stock market or sell a very expensive asset. When you live below your means, you have excess cash you can use for other things. It is not a thing of wisdom to spend just because you can afford something. Again, the fact that you have enough money to buy something doesn't even mean you can afford it. To afford something, you have to be able to buy it and not feel the strain on your finances. Don't give in to pressure from your peers to live a certain standard of life. They will likely not even be talking to you if you were not earning a certain amount of money. 3. Avoid unnecessary debt you should probably avoid credit cards as much as you can. These ease of accessing loans at this age makes it easy to splunge on things you don't need and pay later. Paying later may not be your best option if you don't have a steady income to support the loan. College is a great place to go to. If you take out a loan to go to college, that's fine. If you take out a loan to start a business, that's fine. If you even take out a loan to get a car, that's fine. But taking out a loan to buy a luxury car or a suit may not be a bright idea. While a car is a necessity for transportation, a luxury car is not. Debts can pile up and make you feel like a slave. If you pay 40% of what you earn as installments to pay debts monthly for a year, you may lose interest in the job entirely. You will feel like you are working for the bank. Why take a loan if you don't like the terms? Don't make hasty decisions with loans. They may seem all flashy, but it can tie down your income for years. The trouble is, you may end up stuck with a job because you want to maintain the income that can pay the loan. But if you didn't have a loan to repay, you can easily quit when you want and move on to a sector of interest. Loans can help your business or enterprise, but remember to properly plan how to repay before you go for the loan. The bank's interest is in their interest rates. You should be focused on your business model and sales channel. Ask yourself how taking loan can help your business become more profitable. Never take out a loan on a hunch. Write out the plan, analyze it. If you don't, you would spend time later analyzing how you should have done it, and then it will be late. 4. Invest your money As a young person, investing is a way of setting up your financial future. Saving is great, but investing is far more profitable. They complement each other. You save so that you can subsequently invest the money saved. Research for different asset classes and understand your risk profile. It is invaluable when you are just started. Clearly outline your financial goals too. This will help you decide which type of investments to take. If you want to be a millionaire before 30, 
you need a high yielding asset and several streams of income. You need to calculate how much you need to make a day to be able to reach your goal. You even need to mark which year it will be and start working towards it. The earlier you start, the easier it is going to be. 5. Creating several streams of income You'll find it difficult to become wealthy if you have only one stream of income. The chances are that you're not earning your dream salary at the moment. You may also be making a lot of expenses and supporting your loved ones. If this is the case, your dream of getting rich is not headed anywhere precisely. You need to identify all the possible ways you can increase your income. How you can do this is by undertaking a personal audit. What are your skills? What do you currently do for a living? Are you indebted to anyone? By how much? What are you currently earning? What are you able to save monthly? Do you have an advanced degree or further education beyond college? When you answer these questions honestly, you begin the process of understanding your strength and your weaknesses. Once you do, you can leverage your strength to create another stream of income. 6. Changing your money blueprint You need to change your mindset around money. Money is a tool, not an end. It is a means to an end. You need to decide for yourself what the end is. Money is also neutral. Some people think people who are rich are bad because they are rich. That is hardly the case. Money gives people more ability to get the things they desire. If you are bad, having money will help you do more bad things. If you are good, having money will help you do better. The way you perceive money influences how much you earn and how you spend your money. If you see every single dollar as value, you will make every expense count. You will then start to see spending as intentional. You spend with a purpose and not with emotions. You will even understand how your childhood and thought patterns influence your finances. Having the mindset that you need a job while positive can make you place a cap on how much you can earn. Define your goals carefully and see each job as an opportunity to earn something new. 7. Have a retirement plan From a young age, decide when you want to retire. It is a way of propelling you towards your dreams. When you know what you want, it is easier to itemize what you need to do to get what you want. You can start planning your retirement from your first job. Keeping aside 20% of your income for 40 years will leave you with a large fortune. If you desire to retire at 40 or even earlier, you can aim for high-profile roles in big corporations and work very hard at clinching the roles. 8. Consult an expert It is very important to get used to working with professionals. They can advise you on what to invest in and how to maximize your income for profit, leveraging several asset classes. As you get richer, you will need more consultants. Consult an expert before you buy a property. You may not know the property taxes for the area. You may end up buying a bad asset without advice. If you want to liquidate some of your assets, try to get some advice as well. Number 9. Invest in yourself Invest in improving your skills. You are your greatest asset. If you have valuable skills, you are better off than most of your peers. Invest in learning new skills, in webinars and books that add to your personal development. A year from now, you will be glad you did. Thank you.